So as I've been using my Redis key scanner to investigate keys in my Redis database, uh, what I've come to realize is that the native match parameter for the scan operator, uh, which works to include keys, is pretty much not what I want to do when I'm scanning. Really what I want to do as I'm investigating is start to exclude keys. Now that's not natively supported by the scan operator, so what I have to do is pull those keys back into the cold fusion memory space and then exclude them on the client on the cold fusion code, which means that I can now use regular expression pattern matching to uh, manage the keys in my result set. So for example here, I could have uh, previously used this glob style pattern matching, which I don't support now because now this is regular expressions, but what I can do is say uh, lock this down to the beginning of the match. And you can see here I'm getting only keys that start with Ben. Right. Uh, a nice side effect of using the regex on the CFML side is I can now uh, make those matches case insensitive because Typically, this makes it more uh, intuitive for the user. Now, I might want to start excluding keys, right? So now, there are no Ben keys in the result set. It's all these RAND keys, right? And now what I can start to do is, during my investigation, I can progressively exclude more and more keys from the result set. So let me open this up here, and you can see uh, I can start to use regular expression pattern matching. So let's say I want to get rid of my Z set. You can see no more Z sets here, but now let's say that uh, I don't want to use sets either, so I can just throw in this little uh, you know, optional character here, and now there's no more Z sets or sets, and let's say that uh, I've eliminated string as a possible issue here, so I can put string in there, and now I only have my lists and my hashes, and let's go ahead and get rid of that uh, list, and here you can see now I only have my hashes. Now let's say that, uh, oh I forgot, I gotta get my Ben out of there again, so now I can do Ben, I can even lock him down again to the beginning of the string. And you can see now all we have are hashes left in our uh, key space here. So again, uh, each scan operation still pulls uh, all of the keys back into memory, and then I'm using uh, these regular expression pattern matching in the cold fusion code in order to make the uh, filtering more helpful for the user. Uh, another thing that I've done as part of this update is I've also set the ability to change the count for each scan. So I could say here, we could look at 10 keys at a time, right? Or I could say 100, or I could jump down here and just say like 10,000 keys, right? And now you can see that there's a, a single page of iteration. There's no more iteration here. Um, so I think that's going to be much more helpful. Uh, again, the, the intent is to, as I'm digging down into the Redis database, start to exclude keys that are no longer suspicious or keys that I have a better understanding for so that I can start to uh, uh, locate keys that need further investigation. Now, uh, let's just quickly look at what this does on the cold fusion side. Uh, the scan method, which is part of my scanner CFC, uh, you can see now it takes a scan pattern include and scan pattern exclude. And all this is doing is executing the scan operation, pulling uh, the result set back, so that's the full set of keys in the iteration, and then I'm using the include patterns to run the re find no case, uh, and the exclude pattern to also run the re find no case. The difference is, is that this one is filtering them into the result set, and this one with the use of the not operator is filtering them out of the result set. So the logic is super simple, uh, the overall scan logic and algorithm also super simple, super short, and I think leads to uh, a much more powerful uh, investigatory experience on the Redis database here with the uh, Lucy Cold Fusion and Jetis, which is the Java client for Redis.